Would it surprise you to learn that corporate taxes account for less than 11% of all federal tax revenue this year? How about the fact that income taxes paid by regular Americans account for nearly half, or more than 46%, of all federal revenues? Not only that, but as individuals, we don't all pay taxes equally, not even close. Currently, there are more than 200 loopholes, credits, and deductions in the U.S. tax code, which disproportionately benefit top income earners. All told, these loopholes and deductions cost the government more than $1 trillion of tax revenue in 2015 alone, more than the entire discretionary budget that Congress allocates each year for things like the military, education, and veterans' benefits. In the eyes of the federal government, tax breaks are just another type of federal spending. Just like money we spend on education programs, the military, or health care, when the federal government approves tax breaks, it means less money in the U.S. Treasury to spend on other things. And just like spending on education or the military, how the government chooses to allocate tax breaks says a lot about our priorities. About three quarters of the loopholes in our tax code benefit wealthy Americans and corporations. As a result, these loopholes take away funding that could have been used to support education, clean drinking water, investment in public transportation or roads, and other important programs. If you're interested in learning more, check out MPP's Big Money in Tax Breaks interactive tool at nationalpriorities.org.